Welcome to weld.com. We're gonna do a little white iron today. We've got some six inch schedule 10. It's got it taped off, got a purge going. We have a, a product from Huntington Fusion called Purge Elite. It's like a stopple bag. Um, Argon in, blows these bags up in here <clears throat> and uh, got relief. So this one that I've got in here right now I've got it pumping about 20 cubic feet per hour on a flow meter in order to keep this aired up. If I go anything less than that, it tends to, tends to deflate. We don't want that. Also, I'm taped off. I've got, I've got my tacks. I've got a, a loose 332 fit. Uh, I beveled it, but I did leave a, oh man, I've got a whisper of land on there and it's pretty skinny. I'm gonna say between 32nd and the 16th. So a 332nd, 308L, filler wire. Grab a hood, I'll be right back. places in here that are loose enough that I can leave my wire and some of them are tight enough. I want to do a little dab keyhole effect. Making sure I'm breaking down that wall. Of course, again, I said I'd had barely any root face at all.
I'm going to let this cool off for a while. Okay, we are, I've completed the root run on here and uh, I'm kind of letting this cool off. It's a heat sensitive little rascal. This stuff is only um, uh, slightly bigger than 332nd wall thickness. I have to get you a spec on that. Anyway, we're getting ready to run on a cap here. Probably going to run a, uh, um, probably going to do a 332nd wire. We'll see. May switch to a 1 16th. Again, I don't want to overheat anything. Don't want to restructure this root in here. So I'm going to let this cool off. I can tell it's pretty hot. And I want to run a little bit of root here to kind of show you what's going on with it. But again, it's a, it's a heat sensitive little rascal. So I'm going to let it cool off just a little bit longer. We'll come back and do a cap run. Welcome back. I've let this cool off a little bit. Did a little trial run with a couple of different cups. I found that uh, the big old gas lens wide one it's hard to for, it's hard for me to weave a little bitty bead in here so i'm going to go back to a number eight ceramic and uh, run a 1 16th wire in here i'm going to keep my heat fairly low and uh, i'll try to get a little pink out of here i don't think it's going to get real golden for me but again we'll see what we get out of it Feel like I'm going cross-eyed in this lens. Yeah, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit and I'm gonna brush it. And then we will uh, we'll go, we'll get some B-roll of it. <clears throat> and uh, I'll probably go saw cut it, maybe we look at the inside of it here. Back in a little bit. Okay, I went ahead and, uh, went ahead and cut this open. And uh, I've got some real straight runs in here that look pretty sweet. I wish the whole thing looked like that, but then I've got some bumps too. They're fused inconsistencies. Definitely need to practice up on the old schedule 10, uh, schedule 10 stainless. Kind of fun to do. Make sure you got a good purge. Um, be patient. Don't rush it. Watch your heat input for sure. Um, 
I noticed when this thing started closing up, man, I was trying to butter that in there and hit that keyhole thing, and I think that's where I got the, I think that's where I got the bumps. I don't believe it was tying in. I think it was more the transition to dripping, trying to drip that in there. In position, you probably, in the past, I've always kind of had that bottom opened up enough where I had the fit where I could get the wire through on the bottom and use it as a heat sink you know this thing's gonna crawl up on you and kind of shrink at the top. So I always had my top a little bit wider than the bottom. Uh, it's different when we're trying to film for the camera, we gotta stay kind of up in this top third here so that we can get the camera on it and everything. So again, schedule 10, stainless, had a good purge going. Put the root in with uh, 332nd, 308L and uh, let it cool off a little bit. Put the cap in with 116th 308L. Hey, uh, big shout out to Huntington Fusion on their Purge equipment, this Purge Elite. That is a, that's a, vine, that's a fine product. It's quick. Um, run this up in there. Again, very fine product. I appreciate that. That's gonna help us out a bunch here at the college for training on stainless tubes. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Bob Moffat with Weld.com. Thank you.